record levels of employment. We have hundreds of thousands of people now who are in work, taking home a wage, having a responsibility, doing the right thing, and all the other things that being in work does Soiled, for people. Right. And we have growth in a way that we should be proud of. And if we hand it all back to you guys, we'll be back near the verge of the bankruptcy <laughs> courts. We've got a plan and we now need to carry on delivering it. The woman in the second row say that you've increased employment, but all these, it's minimum wage, it's not a living wage, yeah. it's a living wage, yeah. not an actual wage, and you don't hit it, there is zero other contract, how do you expect people to get off benefits and be able to work and provide for their families if they are not getting regular hours from their employment? But the reality of it is, is that we have hundreds of thousands of people now in work, and I think just simply saying, oh, it's low paid or it's zero it contract, is. and actually, because we are actually looking zero at zero contract. hour contracts. Yeah. Some people zero suit them, contract. not everybody no. suits them. That's I, I why we're looking at. I, I'm just going to say so, that's why we are. Horrendous. I agree with Utterly you for some people. Yes. I agree with you for people on benefit in particular, well, well, your, well, your and that is exactly saying, what we are. You're looking saying at. that we put more people in employment, but you've put more people into zero-hour contracts. But it is better, surely, which sir, it's better afford. to be in work and bring home a wage than sit at home and do nothing. Surely, sir, sure, it's better afford. to be in work and bring home a wage than sit at home and do nothing. Sure, you Thank you. 